Hey folks, welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Saturday, March 3rd. <clears throat> um, around 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I was just uh, come back from the library actually to get my other my other backpack that has my clothes. I gotta I gotta go do laundry. And because uh, my friend was watching it for me, so this is my last day. Last night. And then it's back to the streets, and I work tomorrow. See, here's the sad sight. I mean, see, look. Public Library, Main Branch, Pasadena, California. Pasadena Police Station. Pasadena Permit Department. Department. The Square. The City Hall. This is a Superior Court. County of Los Angeles, the Pasadena chapter. One o'clock in the afternoon. You see, it's not a. It's just, it's just getting terrible. Epidemic, epidemic proportions. I mean. sustainability and the quality of life is just getting very very difficult I mean I'm I'm employed I'm fully employed I'm working 17 hours 70 what did I work last time this last pay period 79 hours straight time 16 hours overtime and almost a half hour of double time and I still and I'm filing single, zero, no dependents, nothing, and I still cannot afford rent. Well, let me say, okay, I could almost maybe afford rent, but I can't afford the initial startup, like the deposit and whatnot, because that's just way out of my league. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you, sweetie. Have a good day. Um, she was formerly homeless. Now she's living over here across the way. See that building right there? It's called the Centennial, which is the old uh, bachelor apartments with, you know, like communal bathrooms and a communal kitchen and stuff converted into um, very low income, but mainly... Uh, Section 8 housing right here in the middle of the square. So, that's been there for eons. But anyway, um, yeah, no, it's just impossible. It's very impossible. This, this is City Hall. And last night, we had already. Uh, talked about this and had this kind of in the planning because my friend Mark Horvath who um, heads up uh, the YouTube channel Invisible People I'll, I'll put a link down below um, I can never stop talking about him he's such a good person and he just like I say over and over he does so much for the homeless community bringing awareness and attention and this is his passion so he came by my uh, hotel and we did an interview out outside last night and then uh, we went out to uh, he took me out to dinner at Cabrera's he asked he said well where do I want to go I says he said anywhere so uh, I picked Cabrera's Mexican restaurant here in Pasadena it was the first time that uh, the one in Pasadena we used to go to the one in Duarte great food Fantastic menu though. I'll put a link down below too. I love the place. We had a great time. It was karaoke night, Friday night, karaoke night, so it was it was a hoot. <laughs> but uh yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And we were talking and stuff, so uh, filling me in more about what's going on with the politicians and what they want done, or actually, what they want, 
basically what little they want to do and even less what's finally in the end result going to be done and accomplished so as it as the money is there at the top it gets funneled down typical it gets filtered have to set up these board meetings and hire these people and all before the money actually gets put and implemented into use for what's needed for either more food, housing, awareness. But before it gets to the to the affected and the needed, it's all but gone. That's the way it works. So um got my bag. Did a little bit of little light shopping at Target. Got some clothes I needed. I'm gonna go to the room, rest for a while, and then I gotta go head out and go do laundry. So now I'm on my way to the 99 cent store. I got a couple more things that I need to pick up before I head back to my room. Oh, a new eatery. Oh, that's right. That's the one that was in the paper. I gotta try that. Uh, this place. Good pizza, good chicken wings, huge slices. Huge slices. I think your average slice pizza, their one slice equals three, I say maybe four, or at least three and a half regular slices of pizza. It's, it's good pizza. <clears throat> oh, boy. Very tired. My foot's still killing me. So the other night, when I had, the other day that I had made the video that I was contemplating about going to the cold weather shelter, I just never happened because I was planning from everything that I had seen on the app. The rain was going to fall early, it wasn't, so I was teetering. By the time I got off work, it wasn't raining, so I didn't end up going. Actually, it didn't start raining until about maybe 12.27 in our area, a.m. So, and it stayed steadily, though all night long I was pretty much on edge. I listened for a certain sound when the uh, roof is dripping in, in our little area where we where we sleep if it's at a steady flow it's okay but when it starts to come down we're going to be flooded inside an hour or so but all was good everything was safe so i didn't need to move because my next plan the next thing to do is to move to the front of the building and you're right there exposed where we're in the back and we're kind of hidden and tucked away so yeah, I didn't, I didn't, thank goodness, thank God, I didn't end up having to go to the shelter, so I'm going to go in here, pop in here real quick and pick up some, some things that I need. It's funny, I noticed something. Looks like the 99 is doing the same thing as Aldi's food chain with their uh, shopping carts. And that is that their shopping carts have a little tether of a chain and a plastic uh, anchoring device. And they anchor to each other. And the way to get a shopping cart, and this is Aldi's, I mean, I think other supermarkets have done it, but Aldi's is pretty much the pioneer of doing this then you put in your cord and it releases the tether from the cart in front and you're free to use it now if you want your quarter back in order to save money on hiring people to go round up shopping carts and parking lots and property and whatnot and to keep theft of shopping carts at a very very much low you return your shopping cart you insert the key tether or whatever lock into the preceding shopping cart and you get your quarterback so 
you're basically doing the work of an employee for the supermarket. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's great. It's ingenious. And it cuts down on theft and, and cost. So, eh, you know, I like it.